The first Air France Concorde to fly since last summer's devastating crash near Paris took off from Charles de Gaulle Airport a short time ago. The plane is being taken to a military base near Marseille for tests that could allow for it to be returned to passenger service. Only the crew were on board today's flight. Here's Neil Connery. Through the fog of a Paris morning, an Air France Concorde takes off, the first step in the supersonic jet's rehabilitation. The last time the flagship of the French airline left the Charles de Gaulle runway, it ended in disaster. Many in the industry said it would never fly again. This morning, carrying just its crew, all went to plan. Last July, 113 people were killed when an Air France Concorde crashed after takeoff. Debris on the runway sent burst tyre fragments hurling through the fuel tank, starting the fatal fire. Air France grounded its fleet. British Airways soon followed suit, grounding its seven Concordes. BA has now started to fit a Kevlar lining to the fuel tanks to protect them. Ground tests are now underway at Heathrow, with the British and French working together closely. Today's test flight is heading for a military base near Marseille, where engineers will simulate fuel leaks by running the engines at high speed on the ground. By mid-March, BA hopes to fly its own test flights. If all goes to plan, Concorde passenger flights could resume later in spring. But the job of regaining passengers' confidence will prove tricky. Neil Connery, ITN. This morning, the supersonic airliner flew safely from Paris to a military base in southern France, where a series of tests will be carried out. Our correspondent, John Sopel, is at the base at Istere near Marseille. John. Darren, as you can see behind me, uh, Concorde is now taxiing to a halt. It landed a few moments ago and it's completed what has been an uneventful journey. And that will be a huge relief to Air France and, of course, to British Airways that Concorde has once again taken to the skies again. It's only a first step Before the, the Concorde way crash six months ago, this was an everyday sight, but today, exceptional. The first one to take off from Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris since the fateful day last July, although its departure was delayed by fog. This was not a time for taking risks. Its home for the next month will be this military air base just outside Marseille, while tests are carried out by the aircraft's manufacturers. We have a very uh, positive action. We want to have a Concorde flying in safe condition. Everything that we do goes in this direction. I don't know what will be the result, but I hope that we are in the right direction. You are optimistic? Yes. In last July's crash, the fuel tank imploded after being hit by debris from a burst tire, causing the plane to lose 20 gallons of fuel a second. What these tests are designed to prove is that modifications made to the lining of the plane's tanks will make a repeat of that impossible. And as, and as you can see, Concorde has come in right behind us here. Let's just bring the camera around. It has landed safely. It will now undergo preparations for the tests that will take the next two weeks. Darren, back to you in the studio in London.